Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys, if you have any of the following three vehicles, I'm talking about Porsche Cayenne, Audi Q7 or Volkswagen Touring guys, and you're trying to remove the sway bar to replace the sway bar or the sway bar bushings holding the sway bar to the suspension, stay with us, we'll explain how to do that. The symptoms of bad sway bar bushings will be phone and noise, rattle going through bumps, and make sure to stay until the end, we're going to share a secret that will make your wife way easier when removing that sway bar otherwise you will have a really hard time guys now before we start let me tell you guys if you need to buy any parts tools bushings anything for your car check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from for a really good price and quick shipping as well number two every single car we get at the shop we try to make at least guys two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply guys because our mission at the garage here is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video that way we can keep providing this free information to you so you will need to guys okay okay you will need to lift your car in the air and you asking why okay you will need to have the front end in the air because you have a massive sway bar guys the size of the sway bar on that thing is humongous if you just have okay one tire in the air you will not be able to do it because you have tension on the sway bar and you will not be able to remove the sway bar link guys and release the sway bar and it could be dangerous because it will be super tight you have to have the two front tires in the air you can do that with jack stands we used our um, home system here by quick jack nothing sponsored here guys but i'll put the link in the description of the video below where we purchased ours it's super powerful and it holds up to 7,000 pounds it's amazing guys so we have the front end in the air we have the wheels removed and now we need to get 18 millimeter okay 18 millimeter guys and we need to remove that bolt on the bottom okay there is a nut right there we pre-loosened this one we had to sew them with um uh, with rust penetrating spray guys so i'm going to show you about that in a second and once we do that okay you need to disconnect okay this bolt the spray i'm talking about it's one of the best on the market that we used okay interphone you spray on the nuts bolts that are rusted let it soak and it does its magic guys everything come off super nice and easy now if you have one of those vehicles the weak spot is front differential going out and that's what we'll be doing as well guys we'll be replacing front differential in addition we'll have probably close to two to three hundred free repair videos so keep eye on it guys quite helpful information that can save you so much money all right now with the front end being in the air we'll have almost minimum pressure guys okay on the sway bar and now okay that bolt okay <laughs> it's getting stuck a little bit so uh, what we can do we can unscrew it okay and it came out okay perfect just like that great now guys if you have a porsche cayenne or any of the other two vehicles check this channel out as well electrical car repair life you can find so much helpful information about car diagnostic fixing engine lights codes electrical components things like that now we're going to get a 16 millimeter wrench guys 16 millimeter wrench and we need to go ahead and remove okay two bolts now okay that's what they look like this is the bracket we removed one on the other side so i can show you what it looks like you have thread locker so they will be stuck guys okay this one had a little bit of rust as well so if they get stuck while you're removing them unscrew them and once they get stuck spray some penetrating oil screw it back in and then wait for it to act and unscrew them and they will come off guys because most likely you will have some rust in those and you don't want to break them in the suspension okay so uh, this one will be hard to get to because the AC line is next to it so let's see if we'll have enough room for the bolt to come off guys actually hopefully we do because that AC line is right there okay everything is so tight on this vehicle especially the v8 engines guys they're humongous they take a lot of space and as a result you can see everything is super super tight so bolt is practically loose okay perfect 
we were able to get it out of the AC line. Okay, that was stressful right there. Because if it doesn't, you don't want to drain your AC system because of one bolt and remove that hose. We're removing the second one now. Now, what we're doing now here, the exact same thing will need to be done to the passenger side. We're just still on the driver's side. All right. Now, leave that bracket and we can get to the bushings or the sway bar if you need to remove it. That thing is heavy, guys. No joke. That's like a weight lifting bar that you can use to gain some muscles. So I'll come on this side now. We pre loosen everything on this side already. I'll grab it here. We'll lift it up. Okay, let's see how we're going to come out of the suspension here because we're hitting on the oil cooler here. Ah, let's see now if we can get it out of the cooler, okay, without removing it. All right, so we'll come this way a little bit. Careful with the oil cooler. Okay, we'll come out of the, the wheel. Check it out, all the way to this side. We'll come in an angle, sway bar is out. And those are the bushings that usually go bad as well. So if you need to buy new bushings, if you need to buy a new sway bar, guys, hold that. We'll share the links in the description of the video below. That's how we remove it on a Volkswagen Turek, uh, Porsche Cayenne or Audi Q7. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.